Drive and CCJ, and I'm here with Elliot Hicks with Oberon Fuels, is that correct, here in California? And could you tell our readers a little bit about DME, how it differs from both diesel and conventional natural gas fuels, and why they might be attracted to this fuel for their truck fleets? Well, DME has several advantages as a, as a diesel fuel. One of the first most important things is that it's a very high quality diesel fuel. It has a Sente number of 55, which means that when you get it into a diesel engine, it performs very well. There's no need for a pilot fuel uh, or anything like that. There's no, no switching to spark ignition. Does it perform better than natural than CNG and LNG? Yes. yes. So now there, you know, that's a, a bit of a loaded question. Sure. It depends on the platform. But, sure. but it, it's a, it's a, thermally, it's as efficient as diesel fuel. Okay. Um, so you can, you can sort of back that out. But the, the main advantage with DMA um, is that it doesn't produce any particular matter when it burns. So it gives you that diesel efficiency uh, without having the, any soot generated. And as soon as you take out the soot, that opens up a lot of different options. And all the guys are the right guys to ask about how, how the best way sure. to do that is. But immediately you can take off the, off the, off the particular track. That part goes away right away. Uh, and then there's there's options about, about how, to, how to tune the engine with the best manner to get this performance out. Now this is a biogas. It is not. It does not come out of the ground the way natural gas does. It's not petroleum based. We're not dependent on foreign countries. For this well, it is. It is. It is derived from methane. It is so derived it, from it, methane. It can be produced from a, a pure biogas source, whether you're going to an agricultural digester or to a, a, a landfill or a, a wastewater treatment plant digester. All those are great sources. And, and the overall process happens to be very well suited for that because you can actually use the CO2 in the biogas to improve the efficiency in the output of the, of the fuel. So some of that CO2 is actually really easy to fuel that's coming out. But you can also use straight natural gas off in order to produce DME. Uh, and that provides options for both in terms of taking advantage of stranded gas assets and also just taking advantage of low cost domestically produced natural gas. So that there is no there is no dependence on crude oil. If something happens in the Middle East, it has no impact on, on the price of DME because DME is produced and will be produced entirely from domestic gas. And I guess the final question I have for you, one appeal you guys are touting today is Infrastructurally speaking, you feel this is going to be a much quicker solution. It's much more manageable from an uh, uh, investment standpoint for fleets and local municipalities. Correct? Right. So a, a lot of the uh, a lot of the attraction of, of uh, LNG and CNG is that the cost of fuel is very low. Right. And, and that's absolutely true. And, and in, in a lot of applications, that that's fine. That, that works very well. Uh, but the, the extra cost is put onto actually containing and dispensing and transporting the fuel. Uh, with DME, it's sort of the opposite. Uh, there's more cost put in up front in order to produce the DME, uh, but it still comes out at a, at a, at a competitive cost to the diesel, looking at, at uh, equal or less, depending on where diesel is at. Um, so you have a competitive cost, but all the costs that go onto the truck go away. You don't have a, a significantly more expensive truck with a, when it's running on DME. The dispensing system, we're actually going to have one later today. We can show you that we used a, it's a standard propane style pump. It's a $20,000 pump. Uh, and, and that's, that's all that's required in order to dispense the DME. And there's no, uh, uh, DME is a, has long-term storage capabilities. So you don't have to worry about time. venting, cryogenics, so, all that stuff. No, none of that stuff. So the, so the fuel itself, is it is it a colder fuel? Is it pretty much room temperature? What's the ambient? It, 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 it's it's uh, physical properties are almost identical to propane in terms of handling. Okay. So at, at five bar, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a liquid fuel. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's very, very low pressure. Uh, we actually use propane tanks for uh, the storage at our, our first site, but we just work some propane tanks, which are actually slightly overbuilt for the but that's, that's fine. Sure. That's uh, so all the handling, so if you think about all the handling requirements, you think about what's done for the propane, that pretty much applies for DME as well. Other than a couple of last on some seals, which are pretty much All right. Thank you very much for your time, your thoughts. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.